Hello everybody and welcome to Excel video 271. I'm Nate Moore. Today I'm working on a project pulling data out of a practice management system and creating a custom dashboard for a group. When you're ready to get your data out of your practice management system and really understand what's going on in your practice, I'd love to help you. We spent a lot of time in the find part and of this find and select menu. I want to talk about some of the basics of the rest of these options today. What go to will do is if you know you've got you want to go quickly to cell E1245, it will take you there. I don't use that hardly at all. If I know I need to go to E1245, a shorter way to get there is to do this, and I can get to cell C245, and it'll take me there. Notice the other things it will do is I have a table in this tab, and I also have a range defined called totals, and if I click that, it will immediately take me to the name that I've defined up here in Name Manager to get me to totals. This is a faster way to go to, I think, than coming back and doing this go to. But there are several other go to things here that are very handy. Let me go up to the top, Control Home, get us up to the top, and let's start. If you want to find all of the formulas in your uh, worksheet tab, you can select that and you can go down through here and say, okay, here's all my formulas, but wait a minute, what's going on right here? How come everything's shaded? How come it selected everything but this one? I've got a formula here, 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 here. Wait a minute, somebody typed in text there instead of a formula. You see how I can just click anywhere and do find and select formulas. See how this could help you really audit your spreadsheet and catch problems if you expect formulas all throughout column C and then you scroll down and say, ooh, wait a minute, there's one that's not a formula. And I could easily just fix it by doing something like that. What else can we find in here? We can find comments. So it found the first comment there. And then see in blue, there's a comment, there's a comment, there's a comment. As I scroll down through my spreadsheet, I'll be able to find all the comments and they'll highlight for me in blue. I can find everything that has conditional formatting in it. So I've conditionally formatted this entire range. And if I want to, with that selected, find formulas inside there. See, now I found everything that's conditionally formatted and a formula. So this 500 is conditionally formatted, but it doesn't have the formula that I'm looking for. So I can find uh, formulas and conditional formatting kind of thing. That's what I wanted to show you. You can stack them together. I can find constants. Whoops. Won't find any constants in this selection because I, I these are all formulas. If I come over here and look for constants, now we can see everything is a constant in here. Here's every, even that $500 mistake is a constant. If I want to find, uh, let's get out of here. I can find data validation where I've got this cell that says, all right, this cell can only meet one of a specified number of values. That's data validation and I can find those. So why would I use go to to quickly get to where I need to go? But these other go to formulas, comments, conditional formatting constants, all of these, these are very powerful for several reasons, one of which is spreadsheet auditing to go through and like this $500 where we expected everything to be a formula and that wasn't. Quick and easy way to find a problem in your spreadsheet. There are a bunch of things you can do with these options and they're included in this go to special menu. So you see here's comments and constants and formulas. You can find specific kinds of formulas. There's a bunch of things you can do with go to special. We'll look at some applications of that next time. Thanks for watching.